naming segments is the hardest thing for me right now. Like I'm trying to find something catchy that don't sound corny. Like hot or not sounds corny to me. I don't want to call it that. But I want to play the new songs for you that came out and I want to get your reaction live to them. What do you say to that? Sorry, sounds good. Sorry, I was thirsty. My bad. No, you're good. Okay. So first we have uh JT released her solo single named sideways and i think this is her first solo song i'm not sure but i'm gonna play it and then we'll talk uh, she's definitely released another solo song i think i'm gonna look while you're playing it what did you think of that i think it sounded solid um i think it's gonna be interesting to see how jt kind of does her own thing because uh doesn't young miami have a show right now or am i wrong about you that? said a show yeah or is show? that jt yeah, no, nah, yeah. Carisha, please. Carisha, please. Yeah. 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 So I feel like um, Carisha, at least she's trying to take her career in one way. And I kind of want to see what JT does. So I'm interested to keep listening. But, you know, I thought the beat came all good. I don't know. I got to listen to the rest of the song to know if I really like the verse, if I'm being honest. I like the way she sounds on records. I like her voice. You know, some female rappers, I'd be like, bro, is it, do I just like this woman or do I like what she's saying and how she's saying it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I think here it's both. I think here it's both. Because I've been it's a JT fan. But I feel like her tone on this is dope. And I think she was the better rapper out of the two of them anyway. And I think this single, hopefully this leads to a project. Because I do think she was the better rapper of the two. And I like this song. And I feel like a good project would honestly do better than the last City Girls album, if we're being honest. Yeah, I think, I think she'll have a project come soon. I think she's kind of been rolling out. Like we said, they kind of been have been building their separate personas and their separate um, brands, I guess you could say. So I definitely think this will be something that she's going to heavily lean into. But you do see on there, it still has the City Girls and JT. So at least they're still going to be working together a little bit. I do enjoy that, though. Carisha needs to just put microphones away, maybe. She's good at the pod, but it seems like she don't want to do it. <laughs> if she, and if she yeah. don't want to do it, then it's like... like I feel like at, at a certain point, as a rapper or a personality if you just don't enjoy it anymore just take your money and go make more money not doing that like i don't get it it's like why keep doing it i mean it's kind of like the way of life bro it's like you could do a lot of things physically with your body but you're gonna choose to play basketball for as long as you can bro like you know what i mean because that's what you love guess, that's what you yeah. know that's what you love to do i wish this was a i wish this was a basketball part for a minute because i got a take on lebron <laughs> that i want to get off i don't know where i'm gonna go but <laughs> for another day Second single, um, Hit Boy and Alchemist released a three pack called Theodore and Andre, which was interesting. You know what I'm saying? They've worked together before, they've rapped together before, but I think this was mm -hmm. definitely a surprise. So I'm going to play you my favorite single off the EP and let's see what you think. All right, I'll start. What'd you think? I started laughing because I started thinking about like that thing you said about um, that Jay Z line, bro, like the. I, I, I when I came in, I wanted to rap like common sense. Like I, I like Hit Boy, I like Alchemist, but I can see why some of this can't be marketable. Like sometimes the dude just be sounding <laughs> like they they just rhyming, bro. They're just rhyming words together. But I guess I gotta go listen to it. I gotta go listen to it because I love a good Alchemist, Hit Boy, anything, anything they put out. So I'm definitely gonna go like tune into this more. I was gonna say that uh, Alchemist raps like he hangs out with Action Bronson every day. <laughs> and, he raps like he out and I just feel like, and I just feel like, you know, I feel like oh he's. Oh my god, that's hilarious! I don't want to. I don't want to feel like I'm like coming for Alchemist because he's one of the greatest hip hop producers of all time. But you can tell that like, you, I've seen people come out saying that they've got him to rap again, like on different projects. Like I think it was Hit Boy and somebody. Oh, Larry June got him to rap on a project, and. You can uh, tell that he had bars written down or he was writing bars, but he hasn't like rapped consistently for a long time. It looks like, it sounds like he's punching them in one at a time, like one bar at a time, which there's nothing wrong with that. Cause I do like this record a lot, but you can tell like he's, it's early, you know what I'm saying? Like he's, he's like getting the rust off, which is dope. Cause I, I think Hit Boy rap a lot. Like his flow on here is actually pretty dope, but the, the three pack is pretty cool. I liked it. Um, I'm definitely gonna go back to it. Yeah, I gotta check this out because I ain't get to hear it this weekend. I was, I was bumping old stuff, bro. But and I was, I was listening to some Nicki. I know we're not gonna talk about Nicki and Meg, but she's definitely gonna be my song of the week. Cause, 
we can talk we can talk about that we can talk about that um last song though last song i want to mm-hmm. get into i think i think asha k listens to the pod bro i think he you think to so the pod. i think he heard me i think he heard me when i said about <laughs> his last song he was like hey yo watch this i think okay. that's what happened all right last uh zlatan who is somebody who comes up a lot recently put out a song mm-hmm. with asha k last week it was, i think it was wednesday or thursday but it was called bust down all right zlatan's too far into it to get to him but from what you heard, what did you think? I didn't really hear much of the difference you was talking about, to be honest. You didn't but hear it? Mm-mm. I, it sounded like I'm trying to pull up the song I'm thinking of of the song. It sounds like <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but um, it it still sounds good. I have no problems with Asha K doing the blast thing. Hey, it's like hot sauce. You can put it on everything. You keep it the same. I don't need to be no different. I'm not asking Asha K. Asha K to go be Burning Boy. I'm not asking him to be Wiz Kid. I'm asking him to do his Thug Dizzle, you know? I'm not asking right. for much. Okay. I'm fine with it. All right. I like this song, too. Um, I feel like Zlatan's been working with everybody. He just did a song with Wiz Kid mm-hmm. a minute ago. He did a song with Black Bones a minute ago, which were both bangers. Um, I like this one. I don't have much to say. I like it. Yeah, I think it sounded good, though. I had no issue with it. All right. All week. Uh, other than that, that came out this week. That I thought was worth no- noting, uh, "Commas" by Ira Starr. I think she's getting ready for her album to come out. She said a little bit of wh- a little while ago that eighty percent of her project was done. This was like like a month ago, or something like that. But "Commas," what did you think? Did you hear it? Any notes? Um, when I heard it, I kind of got that whole thing of you saying um, Tyler wasn't with Arya Star yet. Like, I feel like Arya Star showed her talent on this one. She showed how good she is. And um, I'm excited for the project, too. I like this song a lot. And I mean, content wise, like I, I love the content that comes out of Afrobeats. Like, I feel like it's way more positive than what you'll hear from a lot of genres. Um, and I, I liked it. I definitely liked it a lot. Agreed. Agreed. Do you hear anything new this weekend? Anything? Not really. Honestly, I'm trying to think. I mean, let me look. I don't really think I saw much, though. Like, I wasn't really tapped into much. I think the funny thing is I had, like, three or four people. I was posting music on my story, like, all week, just, like, with random pictures, stuff like that. And people kept asking me to make them playlists. So I was doing a lot of that this week. I think you should, I mean, on a, I mean, who cares? If if you make a playlist that you want to share, like that's an easy post. Like you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. we put it on the we put it on the page and then like put the I'll talk to you about it after. But if you got one, we could do that. That's cool. Yeah, I, I'll definitely do that. That's fine. Okay. Um, there was another song that I heard this weekend that was really weird. It was like it was like underground boom bap UK rap. It was very odd. Like. It was this guy named Squeaks. He put out a song, Picture Me Rolling, featuring Stormzy. I haven't heard Stormzy on some like underground boom bap shit, and I don't know how I feel about it, but I think you should go check it out if you like rap music, because maybe, I don't know, maybe you feel like Ransom. Mm-hmm. If you like Ransom, this might be your vibe. If you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then <laughs> Waiting waiting in Vain by Daniel Caesar is for the Bob Marley soundtrack. Bob Marley, uh, the, the movie comes out this weekend. I'm going to go see it. We're going to talk about it. Um, but yeah, that's all I that's all I had for songs.